What's up, Patreon? I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all are having a wonderful Capricorn season thus far. I'm coming to y'all with another celebrity natal chart reading, revisited, this time on Miss Doja Cat, okay? So, recently, uh, it was in the news that Doja Cat's mother filed a restraining order on her brother, I had no idea Doja Cat had a brother, okay? It never crossed my mind. I guess I never cared that much. But apparently, she has a brother, and he is very abusive, okay? So abusive, in fact, the mother, their mother, filed a restraining order on him. And in that restraining order, she also goes on to detail that Doja Cat herself has been a victim of his domestic violence, right? She alleges that at some point, the brother even has knocked out Doja Cat's teeth. So that, that happened, okay? Very random information. However, apparently the restraining order documents, the court documents hit the web. It went viral. And, you know, a lot of the media outlets have been picking up on it and everybody's talking about it, Right. And so upon hearing this, I was like, well, damn, you know, and it actually kind of triggered me a little bit because as someone who's grown up in like a domestic violent situation and my child is actually very similar to Doja's, it just made me want to revisit that. Okay. I want to revisit her chart specifically just to see if there could be indicators, which I'm sure there are, but I want to take a look at and explore those indicators of this situation uh, with her brother. And then I also want to take a look at her brother's chart because, yes, I did get my hands on his birth information. And the T, the Astro T, the Cosmos T, it never tells a tale. So y'all already know what we finna do. Let's go ahead and get started. Doja Cat was born October 21st, 1995 at 7.14 a.m. in Los Angeles, California. Doja Cat is a Libra Ascendant. However, something very notable about her Ascendant is that it's at the 29th degree. Okay? That number 29, also referred to as the anoretic degree, if you have been with me for a while, y'all know I harp very much. Not only just degrees, but degrees that could be very critical. Right. The number 29 is a very critical number. It's a critical degree. And this is because the number 29 has both the energies of cancer and Aries baked within it. And what that can do is that it can produce a lot of tumultuous situations, a lot of extremes, but among a lot of different things, it could actually be a very clear indicator of domestic violence, okay, of even a dysfunctional upbringing. And when you tie this to the Ascendant in Libra, nine times out of ten, these are people who could have very much grown up in, I mean, very violent, tumultuous upbringings, there's something that's not quite right. There could be something that's off. And this could even be further reinforced when you consider the fact that Doja Cat has Aries on the South Node. Aries archetypically does deal with violence. And with Aries on the South Node, a lot of these people can have a lot of karmic debt, past life debt, whatever you want to call it, tied to violence. You know, and in this lifetime, it can bring about a lot of situations where one can be the target of violence, um, you know, in situations where they may have to defend themselves or they can be very violent people. Um, So it can the the energy can go both ways. In this case, uh, Doja has that airy south node in the sixth house, you know, this could just make her upbringing very difficult in general as well. You know, so I kind of feel for Doja on that one. And then naturally as a Libra ascendant, having Aries on the descendant puts one in direct line of fire when it comes to antagonistic behavior, aggressive behavior from other people, 
The seventh house deals with open enemies. So anytime or in many instances in which you find yourself um, in opposition with other people, that shit can get physical. It can, like, the likelihood, the probability of it getting physical and violent, right? They're always being that threat there. It's, it's very high for a lot of Libra ascendants. Trust me. So <laughs> it puts a person in the position where, um, you know, they can be on the, the receiving end of a lot of shit. So, you know, that was really interesting, y'all. But it gets even more intriguing because Doja also has her Mercury at the ninth degree, the number nine. Could also deal with aggression, violence. Mercury rules siblings. So this in and of itself can deal with a very violent, aggressive sibling. But it's at the ninth degree of Libra, placed in the 12th house, could join the Chiron. This right here is the legal lawsuit or the restraining order in question. Okay? Libra does rule legalities. And I would argue the reason why this whole situation is coming to light in terms of uh, the lawsuit and it being made public and all that is because this has to be some type of karmic uh, residue that's taking place, you know, because she is experiencing her inverse nodal return, transiting south node is in Libra, okay, which would put it smack dab in that 12th house, activating that Mercury and Chiron conjunction. So, and then when you take into account that the 12th house also deals with scandal, it could absolutely materialize in what's going on right now, right? The situation being made public and now what's the thing? Now we know about it. Not to mention Libra is a, a public sign. So, you know, the fact that it's in the 12th house, like stuff like that don't stay hidden for long, if you hear what I'm saying. Um, and she has a lot of stuff. She has her North Node in the 12th house of Libra. So, Hence why she's such a scandalous person, a very scandalous celebrity um, for various reasons. But that's a different video for a different day. I'm pretty sure like we already didn't. We know Doja Cat's kind of strange. <laughs> we ran that into the ground. But as it pertains to this situation in particular, especially with Mercury conjoined the Chiron, Chiron deals with wounds. And in astrology, sometimes Chiron could play out in a physical way a literal way in in a chart so that could be somebody literally hurting you her brother causing harm bringing harm to her her brother acting like a wild feral animal mercury at the ninth degree that number nine carries a very feral animalistic kind of energy so when he gets mad he turns into a wild animal and he hurts her and i would argue that he's hurt her or violated her in more ways than one hmm what am I talking about? Well, Miss hmm. Doja Kitty also has Gemini in the eighth house. Gemini also rules siblings as it's the ruling sign to the planet Mercury, one of them. Okay. And the eighth house deals with matters of abuse. And when I say abuse, this could be physical abuse but the eighth house also deals with sex sexual abuse taboo topics things people don't want to talk about and the dark side or the lower spectrum of gemini is incest gemini in the eighth house can potentially especially of other indicators in the chart right and if mercury especially the condition of a person's mercury supports it can be a strong indicator of experiencing sexual abuse at the hands of a sibling, a cousin, a relative. Y'all know some of those people where a close friend to the family or somebody like that could have come in and um, sexually violated a person. You hear these stories all the time, but that's a very Gemini eighth house type of situation. Also, the third house rules siblings, and she does have Aquarius in the third house. Which the lower octave of Aquarius is perversion. That can be having a sibling that's kind of strange in the worst way possible. Okay, Uranus is also here. 
conjoined the Neptune and Capricorn. I don't like that. They're both squaring her 12th house sun, North Node. That could deal with where he could have been the type of uh, brother to do stuff to her while she was sleeping. Or, you know, the third house does deal with the hands. Gemini rules the hands. So there is this strong energy signature of, like, violating her with his hands that comes into play. Um, So, I mean, you know, not to mention her brother is a Gemini son. And his son is smack dab in her eighth house. You can't make this up. (laughs) And we all know that when a son, a person's son is in your eighth house, they're going to activate a lot of those eighth house indicators, right? So everything we just talked about or everything we've even established thus far, I mean, I believe it. Y'all drop down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. I believe in, I mean, nobody's, she's never come out to like deny these claims. Like I said, she's even mentioned it in her music. So I've heard before, um, or at least the physical part of the, the the beatings or her being physical with her brother and him being physical with her in that sense, not the sexual part, but that's just me just from an ad, astrologer's standpoint. I would not be surprised. I just wouldn't. Then she has Venus in the first house of Scorpio. That could also be a placement that could breed um, abuse. It could breed abuse. And the first house is the physical body. You know, and once again, whether it be, uh, you know, violence, but it could just, it could be sexual violence. Also reinforced with her having Mars can join the Pluto um, in her second house. So she just has a lot of different indicators of that. And honestly, I just wouldn't be surprised if that kind of has some type of impact on her psychologically speaking. You know, it just is what it is. Then she has her moon in the 11th house of Virgo. That could be a weird family. Um, You know, just coming from a weird family or having a weird family dynamic. I also suspect she's not really that close to her mother either because she does have that moon in opposition to Saturn. Um, And Pisces, she might not respect her mother or not talk to her mother or go long periods of time without talking to her mother. But that could also be her mom putting her business, you know, private family matters on French Street. And they say, they meaning like the courts, are saying that if Doja Cat wants to be granted her own restraining order from her brother, that she would have to go and file it. And so far, Doja Cat has said nothing about this. All this information has come to light, but she hasn't said anything. I suspect that she probably could and would, um, but with that Mercury Chiron conjunction in the 12th house of Libra, it would be something she would do privately or on the back end. Now, really quick, jumping into the brother's chart. Uh, his name is Ramon Delimini. Delimini? Delim- I think he half African too. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um but he was born on June 12th, 1993. Also in Los Angeles, California. And the first thing that stood out to me was this mutable sun moon square. He has his son at the 21st degree of Gemini squaring his moon. And Pisces, that square in and of itself can absolutely produce issues with mental health. Obviously, I'm not using mental health or illness as any type of excuse, but just calling it for what it is. A lot of people with sun, moon, um, squaring each other, specifically in mutable signs. Mutable signs are very much prone on a higher level towards like mental and, you know, instability. I could just see where something's wrong with him. Something could clearly be wrong with him. This could also manifest in a person who could have addiction issues. But once again, that clash with family and Gemini does rule siblings, violating or, you know, overstepping your siblings boundaries. But I could even see him getting exposed. I see Doja Cat like putting him on blast about stuff. 
Um, or, 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 or this could even be like one of those type of siblings that like when it comes to a celebrity, maybe when the celebrity really gets on, the sibling wants to like do a spill all, you know, about them or like expose them or, you know, that kind of thing. And that also supports Neptune and Uranus in Doja Cat's chart and it, the fact that it's squaring her Libra, North Node, and Sun in the 12th house. That could also be having a sibling that broadcasts your business or vice versa. So, or like maybe where she writes a book and in her tell-all book, she goes in detail about, you know, the different experiences she's had with her brother or something like that. I could see her doing that or making some type of move like that in her future, um, like in terms of her career. And so, yeah, he shows all of the telltale signs of just somebody who can have that weird Gemini energy. Okay. Um, mutables are also prone to being really violent, snapping. Obviously, not always and all the time, but if there are other contributing factors in the chart and, and you know, with that affliction to his Gemini son, his, he's mentally compromised. So this is the type of person who could do anything, 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 probably a person who says anything to people. He also has his Mars could join the Chiron and Leo. That could be a person who could just be very like, almost like a bully, very threatening, intimidating and who will go into like these blind rages or like having a fit hissy fit, but it's almost like a a child, a petulant child, but just because he's bigger and it's like he's a man child, right? And I thought that was interesting because if I'm not mistaken, in the court documents of the restraining order, the mother was talking about how he would get violent when she would not give him money and things like that. So like, you know, him literally acting like a kid, throwing a temper tantrum that's very and hurting other people. That's very Mars conjoined to Leo and Chiron. And the mother probably has supported him and protected him for quite some time because he does have his Pisces moon trying in Pluto. And that could also just be, you know, I'm of course supporting him in different ways, but like where she's still protecting him in certain ways or has for a very long time. However, when he does some extreme shit and she just can't take it no more, she, you know, she just she just had to do what she had to do. That's that Pisces moon in opposition to Jupiter in Libra. That's the mom filing the restraining order, telling that nigga to stay far the fuck away from me. <laughs> Especially with Jupiter at the fourth degree, the number four can deal with estrangement, uh, even alienation. So where he did some shit that like, you know, he could have stole from the mama, especially with that moon in Pisces and the square in his uh, Gemini son. That could be him stealing from Doja. He also has his Mercury opposing Uranus, Neptune. That's another aspect. Okay. Especially with Mercury at the 15th degree of Cancer, where one could once again air out their siblings or there could be some scandal involving their siblings, estrangement involving the sibling, but crossing boundaries with the sibling, weird, like let's play house energy with the sibling. All I'm going to say is, and I'm I'm not judging because, you know, violence, domestic violence, sexual abuse, these are themes, unfortunately, that are very common in family dynamics. And, you know, a lot of us, have our shared experiences with this shit. But I'm going to say, with Doja Cat, I undoubtedly feel like, and this is not excuse her behavior. She's a grown woman. She's completely responsible for what she does or does not do or whatever. But I truly think a lot of this um, has really impacted her, you know, and her personality. And if her PR was smart, okay, By the way, Libra does rule PR, and I'm pretty sure her PR team, maybe they are behind the leakage of uh, this information and these documents to the press. (gasps) That could be something to it, y'all. Doja Cat's PR team 
with her uh, Libra, North Node, and Sun, and Mercury, and Chiron in the 12th house, it's very likely they could have leaked some of this information themselves to kind of start creating creating a different narrative um, and sympathy. The, the 12th house deals with sympathy, to get sympathy from the public um, in regards to Doja. That checks out. Interesting theory. But, it, you know, let me know what y'all think. But, um, yeah, it's, it, I, it will work because, I mean, I would understand it. He also has Mercury forming a sesqui square to Saturn uh, at the zero degree of Pisces. It's like he's critically dependent. It could even be him being dependent on Doja. He's very dependent on the people around him. Very much so. Um, even with his moon in opposition to that Jupiter and Libra, I wouldn't be surprised if like he was the type of nigga to live off his baby mama or something like that, or to live off of women. And you know, it's it's this energy of like stunted growth. And I guess you could also contribute that to his sun moon square. But something's not something's not right with dude, clearly. He also has a predator, a key predator aspect, which is that Mars and Leo square his uh, Pluto. I wouldn't even trust him around his own kids. And if I'm not mistaken, his mother, the mother is raising the kids. I'm going to be real. I would not trust him around kids. That could make him very predatory and abusive, especially towards kids, too. I think he might have an addiction problem. You know, but they might have to uh, end up putting him, if not in jail, in some type of home or, you know, he might have to get put up for a little bit. But that moon in Pisces, especially with its opposing, uh, its opposition to Jupiter and Libra, that gives like a halfway house or some legally mandated living arrangement. Yeah, so all in all, you know, I said this to say whatever the documents, the restraining orders, the mama said that nigga did, he did that shit. He did it to her and he did it to Doja and some more. So, I mean, it's unfortunate, but my curiosity is satisfied. So I hope, I genuinely hope that Doja heals. I really do. And anybody else who suffered from anything similar, because this was a little heavy. So y'all drop down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of both of their charts. Does this seem plausible to you? Um, do you know anybody with these placements, aspects, or do you share some of them yourself? What has your experience been? I would love to know. And um, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.